Hello everyone again. Um, right, today I'm making a new projects for my car. I've got a laptop uh, I use for work all the time. And forever always using a laptop and it always falls off the seat, the driver's seat when it's resting. So I'm going to make a, um, a laptop stand that goes in the car. I bought some bits and pieces today from a DIY store. General um, pipe fittings, etc. I'll say I'll use them later on. Um, caps as well, I'll, see, I'll show you what they're for later on, and also length of pipe as well. All this comes to about uh, 12 quid, roughly. Um, laptop stands for cars generally cost about 100, 130, £130, pound, roughly. You can get cheaper ones that hang on the steering wheels, but they're no good to me. I want it uh, different to that. Anyway. Okay, the first part I'm going to make is the uh, part that attaches to the base of the laptop stand, well, the top of the laptop stand, shall I say. Um, <coughs> I've got a uh, two... Uh, push fit 90 degree knuckle bends 32 mil holes for the 32 mil pipe I'm going to use, and I've got a 92 and a half degree T push fit pipe fitting, which will go down towards the base. These will come off the base sits on top of these two pieces here, and I go down to the base part at the bottom of the car. Okay, I just sawed off a first piece of pipe to join these two together. Uh, I'm going to do another one the same side to match, and then fill it all together. And it's finished. Okay, I've cut my piece of pipe. Now ready to join. First one going here. Second piece. Okay, so the first section done. This one goes to the bottom of the stand. They go onto the top of the top of the lap, lap stand. And next section now to build up. Okay, I've now built the uh, base of the um, laptop stand. Um, don't forget to measure the footwell of the car to make sure that it will fit in there. Uh, I've made mine roughly about uh, 14 inches square. And uh, make sure when you are cutting your pipes, make sure you know what the length of the knuckles are so you don't make it too big. So if you're measuring 14 inches, make sure that. Um, you incorporate the size of the knuckles as well to make the pipe slightly shorter than that. Uh, okay. Okay, I built the um, main base part, attached it together. And now I'm going to proceed to um, make the base plate for the uh, laptop to sit on. This is underneath of it. Um, two end caps, it goes, fits onto these directly. Some bolts to put on there as well. Uh, just drill the hole through. I'll do the other one in a second, and then they will then fit into those two top bits there. Okay, I'm going to use a countersink now to um, sink these bolts into the top of the uh, surface because they're too deep, otherwise they'll be uh, stopping the laptop from sitting nice and flat on the surface. So draw those holes for those two now. Okay, I've uh, made a bit of a gap there for the bolt to fit inside, it's nice and flush with the top. Same the other side as well. That will uh, fit nice and flush and flat. Enough for the laptop to fit on top of anyway. Now let's put the uh, bolts through. Okay, I got the uh, two caps fitted, bolted on, nice and flush. Now to put it onto the actual stand. Okay, fits on there just perfectly. All attached. Now what I'll do is do the base and some weights, keep it in place in the car, and give it a try. Okay, the laptop's in place. Brackets to keep it from sliding off. I did one afterwards as well. Because the rubber feet weren't sufficient enough to keep it in place. Um, supporting bar. Yep, that works okay. I'll get it attached. Right, that's actually work all right. Doesn't fall over nothing. <laughs> 